Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can design a social media graphic using Figma. Uh, it's very easy to do. Um, it just takes a few hours to get hands on with it. But once you do, I'm pretty sure you'll have a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing you need to do is go to figma.com. This is a great tool for a non-designer to get started. It's very hands-on and way easier than Adobe in my experience. First thing you will do is click get started over here and create an account. I already have an account with Figma, so I'm going to log into it. So this is what your interface would look like. So to create your first design, I'm going to click over here and then I'm going to come to this interface and I'll click the untitled tab over here and name this document. So for the sake of this video, we are creating a LinkedIn post for our uh, company's channel. So I'll put that as LinkedIn post designs and I'm going to click enter to save it. So the next thing you need to do is click this frame icon over here and on this section you will have access to pre-made templates or frames that you can use to design your graphic. So over here we have frames for iPhone and Android. So these are usually um, used when you're making a website design. We don't want to use that. I'm going to go and click the social media tab on the bottom of the screen and over here I can select any post that I want to work with so for this video I'm gonna work with a LinkedIn post and I don't see it here but LinkedIn and Instagram have similar post dimension of 1080 so I'll click Instagram post and over here we have a really nice page that we can use to design a graphic and on this section you do have access to all the layers that you will be working with and on the right hand side you do have access to all the design elements like grid layout prototype that will be useful further along the way you can also zoom in and zoom out just to have a better glimpse of all your post not just that you can also create carousel to do that all you have to do is select that post click command plus c and then click command plus v and then we do have another post over here so i can go ahead design them and post them on my social media accounts for the purpose of this video i'm going to get rid of this and we'll start working on our first frame over here so first thing i would do is change the background color so i'm going to select my layer and then I'm going to go over here and under the fill section, I'll click this box and you can select any color of your choice. The good thing is you can go over here and click this icon and then you can select different gradient options. So you can go for radial, angular, diamond, image or anything like that. I'm going to go and select linear for this video. So this looks good to me. So I am going to click close. And then I'm going to add a text. So you're going to click this text icon over here, or you can simply click T on your keyboard. And I want my text to be located on the left hand side like so. So then I'm just going to type out my copy. So this is what I wrote design in a wait and think. So of course, this looks too small guys. So I'll just select all of it. And then I'm going to go under the text section and you can select this arrow over here and select the font style so then i'm going to go under the regular tab and i want this text to be extra bold so i'll select that and then i'm also going to change the size so i want them to be anywhere around 64 perfect now the other thing you can do is also set the alignment so if you want them to be structured on the center you can click over here or on the left hand side or on the right hand side for the purpose of this video i'm just gonna allow it to stay on the right hand side perfect so that looks good the next thing i'm gonna do is add a little icon over here so for that you're gonna click this figma icon and you'll click this arrow and then you're gonna click the plugin section so this is where you can utilize different plugins that Figma has and make your post a bit more creative. So I'll click find more plugins. So I need a plugin for icons. So I'll just type out icons over here. And as you can see, we do have a bunch of different plugins that we have an option to choose from. So I'm going to click mono icons by icon Doug, and I'm going to click run. And over here, as you can see, we do have access to so many different type of icons to choose from. So similarly, you can go in and take a look at the extensive library that Figma offers for different icons and illustrations that you can use to incorporate in your designs. So I really like this logo over here. So I'm going to select that. And as you can see, we have our icon displayed on our graphic. Now, all I'm going to do is edit it. So I want it to be slightly bigger like that. And I can also go in and change the color. I'll just make it nice and white. And I can also make this transparent. 
so if i want i can go in under the fill section and i'm just gonna allow its transparency to stay at 20 percent like that so you can really get creative with this uh, use different tools and just play around with your design to make sure it is optimized for your post so next let's say if you want to add any sort of shape to your design so you can click this square icon over here you can add rectangle line arrows eclipse polygon anything like that so let's say i want to add a line to this post so i'll select that and i'm just going to draw a nice line over here and i can also go in and change the color of this line so if i want it to stay nice and white we can do that as well and then I'm just going to copy this line and paste it. So I'll click Command C plus Command V and I'm going to put the other line over here. And then I'm going to add a call to action. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to select over here and click rectangle. And I'm just going to add a nice box like that. And then I'm going to add a text to it. So I will select the T icon and I will create the box and I'll write something like get demo. So we're going to change the alignment for this. So first of all, for the box, I'm going to change the color and we're going to make it nice and black like that. And I also want this box to have rounded corners. So I'm going to go under the corner radius over here and I'll have it set to 30. So as you can see, we do have these really nice rounded corners on the edges. And then for the text, uh, I'm also going to change the color. So I'll make it more like salmon pink. And we're going to decrease the size and we're going to set it to 40 like that and i'm going to decrease the width as well so it kind of makes sense altogether. now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click the main menu and i'm going to go under plugin section and i'll click find more plugins and i'm going to search for unsplash which is a great tool to have when you're designing social media posts because you have access to this intensive library of free to use images in your um, platform so basically you can go over here and search for any image that you want to input into your post so we're going to make a post about a software tutorial basically that's what we are trying to do so we can search for software and hit the search button and over here you can see different images that you can get really creative with so i like this image over here so i'll select that and I'm going to close this tool and the next thing I'm going to do is scale this image down like that and we're going to place it on the corner like so. So now I'm going to select this entire design and I will click frame selection and once you're ready to use this design you're going to go down click the export icon and over here you can select the dimension so I always go for 4x and then you can select the suffix as well or enter the format that you need this image in so let's say i need this image in jpg so i'll select that and i'll click export frame one so over here we have our frame one downloaded into my computer so when i open it this is what my design looks like really nice and easy so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i uh, found it helpful uh, i think the best way to learn something is to actually go in make some changes make some mistakes and i'm sure you'll figure it out this is not one of my be uh, best design i mean the purpose of this video was just to like show you how to use different basic tools that can help you set up for success thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the like comment and subscribe i shall see you guys in my next one till then take care bye